catch you, motherfucker. I'll kill you, motherfucker. You crazy? Oh, the nigga playing with. Oh, for your hands. I'll you up, motherfucker. The thing I have to say about Mike Tyson is everyone is always trying to judge Mike Tyson. He lived his life the way he wanted to live his life. No one can say how, what they would have done if they were in his shoes. Floyd Mayweather was the first to intervene and advised Jake Paul to immediately call off the fight after learning about the Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson match. Floyd, as you know, normally maintains his composure and avoids the drama. Although he doesn't usually spread rumors or make predictions, this time his immense admiration for Mike Tyson prevented him from being silent. He became enraged and gave Jake Paul a dire warning. However, this anger stemmed from more than simply the match announcement. Jake's offensive comments on Tyson's late daughter also contributed to it. And what do you know? Floyd continued after that. He continued by disclosing a few really tasty Paul Brothers secrets. Let's get started now that we have the inside scoop. The thing I have to say about Mike Tyson is everyone is always trying to judge Mike Tyson. He lived his life the way he wanted to live his life. No one can say how, what they would have done if they were in his shoes. At the young age of seven, Floyd Mayweather, who was regarded as one of the best pound for pound boxers in boxing history, started his career in the ring. In his early years, they used to refer to him as pretty boy. Ultimately, he ended his career with a stellar unblemished record in 15 major world titles, ranging from the super featherweight to the light middleweight divisions. However, Floyd's name is always first when you ask who was a major factor in his success, Mike Tyson. Mayweather has never disparaged Tyson, despite the fact that they are bitter competitors in the ring and have no blood link. Rather, he constantly compliments Tyson on his commitment and work ethic. Both men have a special bond and are unquestionably larger than life figures in the boxing scene. You may recall a humorous occurrence that happened in 2015 at the Mirage Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas during a WBC meeting. Mayweather was there mingling with other guests on the stage. He was the WBC junior middleweight and welterweight champion at the time. All of a sudden, Tyson came up to jokingly pretend to toss one of his well-known right hands. The crowd laughed as Tyson smirked and walked away from the staged attack. To his credit, Mayweather reacted with a genuine embrace and a smile, displaying excellent sportsmanship barely faltering. These two legendary fighters have since retired. Mayweather finished his career with a perfect 50, zero record, never experiencing a loss, solidifying his position as one of the sport's most revered and perceptive personalities. Even though Mayweather rarely does these appearances, many fans and journalists still view securing an interview with him or having him on a podcast as a dream come true. Therefore, one can only speculate as to what spurred Mayweather to intervene and demand that Jake Paul immediately call off his bout with Tyson. Let's investigate this developing scenario more thoroughly to learn the truth. What happened? You're not tough anymore since your loss? What happened since your loss? Yo, we gonna bust him up, guys? Yo, let's bust him up. Where are you running, Jake? Where are you going since your fight? Since you lost, what's up, Jake? Where you going, Jake? Oh, he's running! He's running! Look at him! Jake Paul running, champ! Why is he running? Allow me to share with you some extremely fascinating information that appears to have gone unnoticed. The video that you just watched shows Floyd Mayweather and Jake Paul's most recent encounter in February 2023, just after Jake's defeat to Tommy Fury. Whoa, what a boy. Jake found himself the target of everyone's mockery. In Duraya, Saudi Arabia, on February 26, 2023, Tommy Fury and Jake Paul engaged in an eight-round cruiserweight fight. Since Jake had been challenging legitimate boxers to establish himself in the ring, the match had everyone on the edge of their seats. Well, Jake's crazy path to prominence in the sport includes taking on legends, and Tommy Fury is descended from a line of heavy hitters, as you are all aware. Both his brother and father are well-known punchers. Jake gave him a challenge, but ultimately failed. Fate, correct? Now that Mike Tyson and Jake are set to square off in the ring on July 20th, things are looking hot. Curious about what Mike's coach said? Jake is a monster. And the only thing I can guarantee, Mike gonna touch Jake, 100%. It's gonna be impossible 
to Mike, don't touch Jay. That comes directly from the guy who trains with Tyson every day and keeps the mitts. And let's be clear about this. It's not Tommy Fury, Mike. Jake is bringing a legendary opponent into the ring, one whose punches are almost hard to avoid. Tyson could freeze you with his look before the fight ever started. He was a terrifying beast in his heyday. Even before the first bell, his opponents frequently felt defeated. Tyson's unwavering focus during battles allowed him to execute moves flawlessly. Despite being well known for his knockout punches, he also has extremely clever defensive maneuvers. He skillfully evaded and evaded, preparing himself for those vicious counter moves. Jake is still getting ready to enter the ring in this picture. He nearly looks to be losing it, chasing after celebrity or anything. Returning to Floyd Mayweather, he was very explicit about it. When facing Tyson in the ring, Jake is only a young boy. Mike punches too hard for Jake to take. This is way over his league. Uh, Jake Paul, I mean, as of right now, for what he's doing, it's good for what he's doing. But once he fights a real actual, real fighter, it, it's, it's gonna be bad. We are aware of the implication Floyd is making here. He is discussing Jake Paul's recent success on YouTube, where he has been filming videos, interacting with fellow fighters, creating vlogs, and appearing on podcasts to discuss the newest trends. Jake is most comfortable there. Floyd, though, is prepared to give him a reality check. Jake will experience something far different from manufactured YouTube drama when he enters the ring with a real boxer. There are no edits or resets in the ring, just unadulterated, brutal reality that can easily break anyone weak enough to face it. Floyd also stated without holding back when he... As long as he continued to fight MMA guys and YouTubers, he's gonna, he's gonna continue to look good and shine. But once he fights a real fighter, a, a real fighter that can really fight, it's not, gonna be, it's not gonna be that good. Floyd's roasting is very smooth, correct? Jake has primarily sparred in the ring with other YouTubers and MMA fighters, as is evident. Despite their rugged exterior, these guys lack experience as boxers. Instead of pursuing a career in the ring, they come to profit from a one-time boxing thrill. Yes, Jake has lofty goals, and no one is denying that he has the potential to succeed. However, he must first become familiar with the sport's ethics and regulations. You can't just jump in, make fun of someone else, or treat their family disrespectfully and expect to be taken seriously. This is especially true now that Jake has made an entire movie making fun of Mike Tyson. He constantly pokes fun at shows and podcasts. And pay attention to Jake's audacious assertion. Well, I want to see how hard he hits, Mike. I, Mike, I, I really want to see, bro. Let's see all the legends, the myths, because you're Iron Mike Tyson, but I have an iron chin. Does he even know that Mike Tyson is known as Iron Mike? Mike Tyson became the world heavyweight champion at the age of 20, having only entered the professional boxing circuit at the age of 19. He engaged in 15 bouts in a single year in 1985, winning each one with a brutal technique that sent shivers down the backs of even the hardiest veterans. Sky Sports dubbed him the most vicious fighter to enter a ring, while Sports Illustrated once dubbed him Mac Child Dynamite. His brutal methods and audacious mannerisms have turned him into a villain in the eyes of many, and so the world's most evil man. As Tyson's dominance grew, he was given the moniker Iron for his physical toughness, knockout ability, resilience, and unwavering determination. Iron Mike was a nickname given to a fighter who was a legend built of steel through and through, capable of taking on any opponent. And here's Jake saying he can handle anything Mike throws at him because he has an iron chin. It's not simply audacious. That seems a little bit unrealistic. Taj, it's not a vlog when Tyson and I get into the ring. This isn't a podcast. It is harsh and it is real. Finally, check out Floyd Mayweather's direct warning to Jake Paul to save his life. I apologize, but not no problem. No, there, there's no way he could, he get demolished. The majority of Mike Tyson's opponents were so injured that they required breaks to return to action. And let's speak the truth. Mike has never faced a novice in the ring. He has consistently squared up against experienced professionals who were at his level and were familiar with the area, and he has always destroyed them. Thus, the notion that Jake would emerge from the ring victorious? At the sight of Mike's strength and expertise, Jake would crumble. And trust me when I tell that a man like Floyd knows something that the rest of us do not. What are your thoughts? 
Will Jake back down or will the fight break some bones for him? Post your ideas in the comments section. You should definitely like the video and press the subscribe button because we're the ones giving you the newest rumors in town.